out to everyone out there who are directly and indirectly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And if you have known of anyone who are infected, um, our, our thoughts are with them for a speedy recovery. So things are, things are changing really quickly. We are all looking up to our authorities for guidance, for uh, further, further changes into our norm. Um, but please stay resilient. We will get through this together. So I'd like to introduce to you the team uh, from our company that is with you today. So on the left, that's myself. I'm the account manager in Gopomalo, Malaysia, and also Kelvin, who is my counterpart in Singapore, Edwin, who is the manager the technical aspect, and not forgetting, we also have Picha in the background who have been working tirelessly to put this together. So that's us being with you today. Um, what we want to get through, what we want to get through it, uh, essentially today is to share with you uh, who we are, who Go Pomelo is, what we do. So we have been working with a lot of businesses out there, especially after the pandemic has hit, uh, to set up their work from home tools and equipments that they need. So we have stumbled upon a lot of common challenges from our clients, and we really want to share it with you just so that when you are implementing this for your companies, you don't... Uh, hit the same, you don't stumble in part upon the same stone. So we want to share those challenges with you. Uh, later on, Kelvin will then take over to share with you some of the best practices to be communicating and collaborating using G Suite. All right. And that Edwin will be leading the demo session to, tr uh, to show you some tips and tricks on using G Suite to work from home. Um, at the end of the session, we will share with you on how Google and GoPomelo could help you through this pandemic. We sincerely want to help businesses out there. There are a lot of programs and a lot of things our companies are working together tirelessly. So let's dig into it. Um, GoPomelo, like who we are and what we do. So we are a Google Premier Partner company. Premier Partner is the highest partner tiering in Google's ecosystem. So with that, which means that we have a certain amount of competency, certain amount of certified engineer, and our company is being divided into two business units. Uh, on the left, you see is productivity and collaboration. And then on the right is cloud platform and API. Uh, I want to get through with you very briefly on each of those solution area that we, you do, we do, uh, just so that when things are better and you want to innovate your company, we are always here for you. So the first is G Suite. G Suite is where we'll focus in today uh, for collaborating and communicating within your business users. And then second one is enterprise search. So think about having enterprise search as having a Google search engine within your company environment. So with that, right, you, uh, you, your users, your staff could actually search through information that's within your system really quickly. So that's enterprise search. Uh, on the right, infrastructure modernization. Infrastructure modernization is a lot of where the backend technology sits, your servers, your database, uh, network, Kubernetes, containers, so on and so forth. Um, the fourth one is application modernization. Application modernization focuses in uh, enhancing an application and uh, experience, make things faster, smarter, or better. And the Second last, data and AI. So this is where Google's artificial intelligence kits in and respond to our clients out there who have growing needs to manage their data. We all know that data is growing and exponentially. There's more and more information that each company is growing. So our companies help uh, businesses like this to really gain value from the data that they have, to really gain the trend, gain insights. Uh, we have a very deep, uh, a capable data engineering team in, among our companies. Last but not least, uh, location intelligence. And I believe this is the area where everyone is very familiar with. Uh, this is where Google Maps comes in. Uh, Google Maps could actually be integrated to your business solution to deliver to your business needs. For an example, uh, currently the delivery service or the on-demand services are the companies who leverage a lot on Google Maps. So that's what we do and who we are. 
uh, our team of people are all certified with um, Google. that uh, we have gained from Google. Uh, so these batches that we have, uh, we'll need, we went through a very vigorous exams process. Hang on one second. I'm hearing that there are people who couldn't hear me. All right. Uh, has audio came up again? Yeah, Kim, I think you can go back to where you started off with the location services. I think that's oh. where you broke off. All right, thank you so much. Okay, I'll go back to location services. Uh, I believe location services is where we are very familiar with. Uh, that is where Google Maps kick in. Um, Google Maps could actually be integrated with business solution uh, to, res to, to cater to your business needs. For an example, um, the delivery services or the on-demand services that are, that are really on a hype right now integrates Google Maps with uh, the applications. So that's part of the services that we do as well. Uh, and all of all these business units, we do provide a very wide range of services from consultancy to implementation, as well as post-sales support. So that's what we do. And who we are, right? Um, as shared earlier, we are the Google Premier Partner Company. And with that, it means that we have a team of very capable... Sorry, I'm hearing Samia saying that audio is bad. Is that across everyone? Okay, thank you, Samia. Okay, thank you, Samia. Um, so with that, right, that means that we have a team of very capable uh, certified engineers with us. So there's more than 30 of them uh, in different, different areas. Uh, we are also certified with Google badges in different areas. So some of these badges, um, from what I've learned, that we are the only partner in Southeast Asia region that has it. Uh, and in terms of presence, we are a regional company. Our headquarters is based in Bangkok, uh, and we have presence in Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, and Vietnam. We do service other, company, uh, other countries as well, including Hong Kong, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, and Indonesia. So if your company is a regional company or have presence in this company, we will be a perfect partner for you. So that's, that's who we are. So working from home, let's stick into it. We all went from the normal way of working. That is, we get into the traffic, we get into office, and then we get our cup of coffee before we start our day. We have small talks with colleagues and uh, start working. When we work, we do, we, we have our colleagues side by side, we book a meeting room, that's norm. But when Muhyiddin Yassin and Lee Sien Long made the circuit breaker and movement control order announcement, we all went from that norm to a new norm in one day. So that, with that shift, there is a lot of things that needs to change uh, that, that comes with it as well. Um, so I guess one very important element in that shift is actually trust. I guess both employer and employee should acknowledge the fact that working from home is not actually a vacation or a vacation we could call it. We are still a team of people working together that have a com to deliver a common goal and want the best for our companies. Uh, so then uh, some people, when and of course, right, when, impl when implementing work from home, some people may not have 100% luxury of the tools and equipments that they need. They could, this could be small tools like a mouse, a monitor, a keyboard, uh, to something that's bigger and more backend, for example, a secure network or a secure infrastructure for uh, to allow the employees to work from home. So we really hope that G Suite will be able to respond to some of those needs. Um, and the third one, isolation. 
people may be very used to having the face-to-face -face interaction while working with colleagues, but with that shift of being in your own uh, because of the social distancing that we need to practice, uh, some people may feel isolated, may feel uh, they are not being uh, they, they don't have enough interaction with people and also working from home uh, some people may have uh, may feel distracted or may there may be interruption that couldn't be avoided it could come from your family members or it could come from your gaming console as well right <laughs> so that's one thing uh, and in terms of work style uh, because we people may be so used to working in the office so when that shift happens some may feel that they don't plan their activity as well. They don't schedule their tasks as well. And things doesn't progress like how they used to or how, how they want it to be. Uh, some people may find it uh, difficult to manage projects or to have a proper workflow uh, to make things happen uh, because of the lack of communication. So that's really that's really what we are hearing a lot, a lot from our clients. And I'll pass it on then to Kelvin to share with you uh, how G Suite could help you overcome these challenges. So please take it away, Kelvin. Thanks, Kim. So like uh, Kim mentioned, G Suite is an intelligent cloud-based uh, productivity suite. Um, <clears throat> and if you can imagine uh, in the likes of like uh, Microsoft 0365, uh, this is um, exactly what Microsoft set out to do, but uh, I think everybody uh, who are who are using Microsoft uh, failed to use it as such. So next, please. So, like he mentioned earlier, the two key points of how work from home and everything would work uh, definitely banks on uh, communication and collaboration. Uh, Kim, next. The first thing you need to do uh, for remote collaboration, right? Definitely, you have to think of effective communication. So, like Kim mentioned earlier, uh, if you are so used to working in the in the office setting, you might have your colleagues, your bosses sitting all around you, and you can just reach out to them or walk over to them, and you can get questions answered almost immediately. So, if you do not have this luxury of having your colleagues and every everybody within your reach, um, how can you then communicate? A lot of people would fall back onto using uh, channels like WhatsApp mm. or, or SMS, for example. So, but uh, if you think uh, for a second, WhatsApp, whatever information that you're sending through, be it pictures, information, your company corporate uh, information secret, for example, these WhatsApp messages actually don't belong to anybody, but except one person, and that person is Mark Zuckerberg. So once we sign up from uh, for WhatsApp, when you take the uh, check on the T's and C's and agree on upon it, everything belongs to him and only one person. Right, next. So the best practices for communication definitely uh, from what we are sharing are in terms of G Suite would come in all uh, the services that is that are provided by G Suite itself. So if you can imagine uh, Gmail, uh, the one that you use every day on your personal account, for example. So that's one channel of communication. And then uh, of course, having been so used to using um, your Microsoft uh, suite, right? So you'll be so used to working on your own documents on your own computer, your laptop, and then saving it as a document, and then um, furthermore, attaching it onto your email and sending it out to your colleagues when you're working or your customers, for example. So that's the old way of um, uh, collaboration. The new way of, or the so-called future of work, right, is where everybody can collaborate on a single piece of document, where everybody works on it together, comments uh, or anything on it, and then everything, uh, everybody have this one single source of truth for your document itself. And then in terms of chat, Google offers chat services as well, and this Hangout uh, Google Meet. So this is another way or form of communication where you can host um, weekly regular meetings um, with your employees, for example, like me and my boss, uh, like the same for Kim and my, our boss, we have a weekly uh, sync session with our boss where we can have video conference, go through documents, proposal, for example, and then that's how we work. And then, of course, scheduling uh, your own time, for example, what are you going to do for the day, your to-do list, your meeting schedule, for example, that can be done through the calendar services itself. 
And yeah, so even setting up a, a quick um, Google Meet session via the calendar is very easy, which my colleague uh, Erin will share a quick demo later as well. Next, please. So in terms of collaboration, like I mentioned earlier, the best way to work is everybody work on the same piece of document. This gives you two benefits. One, um, your company moves a lot quicker because you don't have to wait for people to send you documents. Uh, and then different versions of it um, will also give you versioning control issues as well down the road. And then second is where everybody has the most updated information at any point in time. Because you don't have to wait for your colleague to update anything at all or before you can start working on your own piece of work, for example. And then, like I said earlier, uh, there are various apps here. You see the blue one, the blue icon is actually Docs, Sheets, Slides. That's the equivalent of Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, Excel, and PowerPoint. Drive, I'm sure you, you all use it on your own personal drive, G, or your own personal Google Drive, right? So that's um, a corporate enterprise drive, for example. So you can have team drives where you can set up structures, like for example, you have a shared folder for admin, HR, um, procurement, for example, finance. Yeah, so this is how you can manage your department's document. And then, of course, the sharing, the access rights, everything can be controlled on the back end itself. And then keeps and tasks uh, is basically for you to do your task list as well as your uh, note taking, for example. Next. So uh, we, we are going to offer this together with Google. Basically, uh, this would be a one-time uh, special offer to get us through, uh, get us everybody through this COVID-19 situation, right? Google and I, uh, Google and GoPomelo, we are basically offering Google, free Google Meet Advance uh, for everybody. Um, so later on in, into this um, presentation itself, we just need you to sign up or to give us your feedback uh, when you scan the QR code later, and then that's where we can reach out to you and explain more in details to you. So what does Google Meet entails? This is exactly the solution we are using right now. Um, you can host meeting um, of up to 250 packs, or if you, if you would like to host like a kind of like a town hall session, that's where your, maybe your MD or your CEO gives like a talk to all the employees, right? And then that you can use the live stream function of this Google Meet, and it can post up to 100,000 uh, uh, audiences. So in terms of uh, Google Drive, you can also use the Google Drive to save all the recorded meetings. And then that's up to, I think, one terabyte or something. We can come to the detail later. And then, of course, live caption. So uh, Kim, maybe you want to turn on the live caption to show them the power of that live caption technology. Sure. So live caption is actually something where you can uh, be very useful. One second. It should be up now. Yeah. So live caption, can you guys see already? One second. Test, test. Yep, so if you disable your grid view, you'll be seeing subtitles of what we are saying now. Hi. Yeah. So I think it's the settings. Later, I think Edwin can show you guys. So live caption is basically for, uh, for you to have an inclusive organization. That's just like uh, our organization. So we have colleagues. Um, who had hearing difficulties. And then imagine people having hearing difficulties. Um, how are they going to get through this entire presentation that uh, Kim and I are sharing, right? So basically, live caption would give you like a, a, a immediate kind of subtitling um, on whatever that we are talking um, and in different kind of languages. So basically, it will, it will allow all different sort of uh, employees to come together and work together and imagine that in the in the situation of you speaking to a customer in a foreign country for example that would also help you in the auto translation as well okay next okay then i'll just hand over to edwin for a quick demo and then i think he can also show you a little bit more into the live caption as well all right thank you so hi guys uh, let me take over the screen allow me to share my screen to everyone here 
Okay, one second. Okay, I hope everyone can now see my screens. Okay. So let me go to my Gmail applications. So if you guys see it here, all right. So as you guys know that um, Gmail is not the only product that is offered by G Suite. It includes uh, tons of applications as well within the package. So how do we know if other applications is provided or include within G Suite? So if, as you guys can see here, this is the main interface that I see from my Gmail console. All right, so I will click on these nine buttons here on the upper right corner. So this is actually what we call App Launcher. It will show you tons of applications that are include bun or bundle together with G Suites. Okay, all right. So if you guys can see here, if I click on my drive, so this is actually our standard corporate drive, all right? So bear in mind that whatever activity that we do is locked and is governance by our company administrator, all right? So let us get into a demo right now, okay? So I'm in this demo, I'm gonna use the chat functions, all right? So these chat functions allows us to set up a group conversations with our colleagues or even schedule uh, meetings, using bots, all right? I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to do it. So first I'm gonna create a room right here, all right? So I'm gonna give it a room called demo 21st of April. I'm gonna create it. And then next I'm gonna add Kelvin and Kim into this room. And also Kim as well. And last, I'm also going to add a bot. So this bot is going to help us to schedule a meeting. All right. So right now, let's try to simulate a scenario right here. So Kim, um, assume that Kim, Kelvin, and I, we are going to have a presentation for our customers tomorrow to demonstrate the functionality or the benefits on using G Suite. All right. So let us start a new track first. All right. So, okay, cool. All right, so hello guys. Just gonna send a simple message. And before that, I'm gonna ask, talk to a bot to schedule a meeting tomorrow with Kim and Kelvin. All right, so the bot has actually checked out uh, our mutual time slots and try to give out some suggestions, all right? So let's say I want to set a meeting uh, for tomorrow at about 11 in the morning to 12 p.m. I'll just reply bot, check our bot, and just give them a. All right, so the bot will reply. So basically a meeting has been scheduled by bot. All right, so if we look at my calendar, let's go to my calendar. Right. And then let's go to tomorrow. If you guys can see, tomorrow, 22nd of April, there is a meeting has been scheduled by the bot, right? By the bot. And it has also in, um, it has also included a video conference link and it has also um, booked our meeting room. All right, and, and Kelvin and Kim is also inside the event. All right, cool. So before the meeting, let us get prepped to our slides, our, our presentations. All right, so this is just a template of slide that I have prepared before. And right now, I'm just going to share it to Kim and Kelvin so that we can collaborate together at the same time. All right, so I'm going to add Kelvin and Kim right here. All right, so if you guys can look at this pencil icon here, I can give them access. All right, so basically, if you guys look at the top, can edit, okay? The edit here. It's actually the highest uh, access where I can let Kelvin and Kim to edit the content of these slides. So if I don't want to give them the highest access, right? So basically I can only give them comment access or view access, all right? But right now, three of us are gonna collaborate at this document at the same time. So I'm just gonna give them editor access, all right? So I'm just gonna give them a note, all right? 
let's collaborate together right it's going to give them a message notify them and they'll receive an email and i just click send all right so in this moment Kim and Kelvin has, uh, will receive an email notification stating that Edwin, which is me, myself, has shared a document to them. All right. And then as you guys can see on the top right corner, Kim is actually accessing this document right now. All right. So I'm just going to put in my name right here and I'm going to tag here. I can actually tag. Sorry. I have actually clicked accident. Let me go back to my slides. All right. So let's go back. All right. So the fun, the features of this Google Slides is as well. It does um, it's safe real time. It automatically safe. Okay. So basically, even though if you have closed out this browser, all right, rest assured that it's auto safe in the cloud. All right. So once I'm done, actually, I can also say. So once Kim has actually, sorry. So once Kim has actually complete her message, she can also actually just comment, and I can just actually tag Kim. Is this final? And I can just assign it to her. All right. So there must, there probably are some questions. Uh, there are questions probably inside your head right now. So three of us are actually collaborating in this document at the same time. So how do we look back at the history and how can we actually trace back or even restore back? So rest assured we can do so as well by clicking at this corner. Just click on this icon. And we can see the history of this document over here. All right. So um, the color actually indicates a person. So if you look at Kelvin, it's actually purple. Kim represent orange representing Kim. All right. And let's say if I want to revert, revert back to the original version, I can sorry, I can just click back to this version. I can either make a copy of it, or I can restore back to this version. Okay, all right. So cool. So this slides looks pretty much uh, complete, and we are ready for our presentations. All right. So let's assume we are now on Wednesday. All right. Today is Wednesday right now, and we are ready to present. Okay. So very easy. We can just click on our calendar, join the Hangout Meet. All right. And I'm going to prepare to join. All right. We're just going to join. Okay. So when you join, basically, we have to, if you guys can see here, you guys can turn on the captions. All right. So that means when uh, whatever that I'm trying to say it, live right now um google is actually using an api by putting by translate what i've said into a subtitles at the bottom here okay so on the three if you click on this three dots button here we can see that we can also record the meeting we can change the layout of this interface or we can change it to full screen or even change the settings of this meet all right so right now I can probably just present to you guys to present my screen. I can actually just click my entire screen and I can just select a screen. Okay. So if I just click share, so basically right now I'm sharing my screen again and ready to present together with Kim and Kelvin. All right. Okay. So now when I'm presenting, I can just switch to my slides and I can also just change it to presenter view. Okay, so in presenter view, I can actually start to set Q&A sessions, start new, all right. So Q&A sessions, I can probably just drag this, all right, one second, guys, let me split my screen. Okay, guys, so this is just a scenario for you guys. I can actually, once I actually share my screen, I can extend this screen, sorry. So I can actually extend this screen to another monitor. And while the audience, if there's any Q&A questions, they can actually just go to this link, slides.app.goo. All right. So if there is other, any other questions, all right, they have. So 
just assume this is a question that has been raised by one of the audience. I can just submit my questions. All right. So I, as a presenter, I will see an audience has actually raised the questions for me over here. Where are you, Edwin? So if I would like to present my questions to the audience, I can actually just click present. And we can see on our slides right here. All right. So on our slides right here, I've actually present a question that has been raised by the audience to everyone. All right. So if I'm done, I will just click hide. Okay. So next, let's just go through the slides. So I've just shown you guys that how we can collaborate. So this is actually how we used to collaborate when we are in the Microsoft era. All right. So I know that's a pain for you guys as we will be working in, um, in multiple version and there will be lots of um, message flying around between parties. All right. So rest assured that uh, I've just demoed to you guys that to show you guys that how we can collaborate together on a single document, all right, in real time. And all our changes that we have did are locked and saved automatically in the cloud. All right. So that's all from my demo and I'll pass the stage back to you, Kelvin. All right. Just stop sharing my screen. Yep. Thanks. Kim, you want to pull out your deck again? Just doing it now. Sorry, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for the demo. Back to you, Kevin. Yeah. So basically, uh, how we think G Suite can help you make your work from home work for you and your company, right? Is basically um, all that we have explained today uh, in terms of collaboration, communication, and how uh, we think the future of work should be like. Uh, so for example, this is like our own daily routine now in our own work uh, from home uh, kind of like working arrangement. And bearing in mind that we are working from home uh, in four different countries, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand and Hong Kong. So like me, for example, I have my boss sitting in Thailand and I have um, sort of like a, a weekly, two, I think twice weekly kind of check-in with him. And then we often communicate uh, through the chat, through um, uh, have jumping into a very quick call, as well as uh, using the technology to the best, right? Like for example, if we are collaborating, preparing or a, a proposal, for example, that's how I, uh, my boss and I work on the document together. And then when we have questions, we can either comment in the document itself or we can just quickly chat and ping each other uh, for clarification. And then of course, um, <clears throat> we, it, this, this technology also allows you to work uh, in a very flexible uh, way. So thinking like, uh, for example, if you, are, if you have some kind of a government background or if your company has de deployed Microsoft on-prem, for example, and then you, you can't even access your, say, uh, Skype for Business or your Microsoft link uh, for work uh, on your mobile, for example. And then you, you always have to start on working um, on your work documents or any work-related stuff on your laptop or, or your company-issued laptop. <clears throat> and you don't have the flexibility of working on any other devices. So, so that sometimes gives us a lot lesser uh, flexibility in terms of how we can manage our own work, for example, okay? So, and, and this whole thing, I think um, the whole work from home kind of campaign or uh, practice is definitely, I think, trust is a very important issue as well. So, um, if it's a top-down push kind of a direction and then, um, uh, your bosses trust or empower all your employees, right? Then I think this would greatly work in, in, in uh, the direction that your company wants to. Because for certain kind of uh, companies, when they implemented such uh, kind of technology, for example, I have this customer when the work from home thing started for us uh, about two or three weeks back, right? I, I asked him, so how's work from home? He said, I have to start uh, and sit in front of my computer every day and every minute because uh, the secretary of my boss would ping me at random times. And then if I don't respond within two or three minutes, I'll be penalized, for example. So this, this really isn't the way we think work should be. Work should be very 
uh, target driven um, and work quality driven. Next, please. Yeah, so are you ready for the future of work, future way of work? So like, for example, in this um, quick slide, right, you can see there that we have calendar and we even help uh, our own company, TGIF. We have this thing, thank God it's Friday kind of a meeting every Friday in the evening, um, 5.30 Singapore time, 4.30 Bangkok time, where all our employees will log into the same call and then we discuss um, and then company we discuss, culture or something. Um, Right. So, for example, our CEO will update us about uh, how the company is doing, etc. Any big deals that we have closed so far, any new technologies to be implemented within our own uh, company, for example, that kind of stuff. So, this is really what, what we think uh, work should be. And yeah, we hope that you guys can jump on the bandwagon and uh, join us in this future way of work. Thank All right. You. Yep. Thank you so much, Kelvin. Uh, Kelvin. Uh, just to add a little bit, uh, so that's that's really great value that G Suite is delivering, right? I guess one, I, I, would, I would also like to add that there is one important point um, that wasn't being presented just now is that G Suite is a full cloud solution. So what does that mean, right? It means that it means to users that no matter which platform you're on, um, your user get the same experience. It could be on your laptops, your desktops, or even your mobile phone. So that's really empowering team to be working anywhere. Uh, so, so yeah, um, they, they can access to their information. So let's say after Circuit Breaker and MCO, it's over, um, and you're still on G Suite, people could actually access any information that they need uh, on their mobile devices when they're traveling or in other meetings, for an example. So that's one of, one of the value of G Suite as well. And before we close off, um, we just like to wish everybody to stay healthy, um, stay safe, maintain social distancing, wash your hand, wear mask. We will get through this together. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for joining.